He grabbed my breast uh, twice, um, rubbed my buttocks, tried undoing my bra several times, all in the kitchen in front of uh, male employees. Some women might complain to their boss. Unfortunately for Jill Couture, a former waitress at Papa Joe's Hot Kettle, a diner in Air south of Kitchener, he was her boss. Couture is making these allegations against 31-year-old Chris Vulcarides. He owned the restaurant. He asked me um, one day to bring a vibrator into work so he could watch me in the bathroom. The staff room was beside his office. I wouldn't even go to the bathroom. I would go next door to the Flying J and use their bathroom. Some people might be watching and saying, why didn't you quit? I needed the job. So, you know, I just put up with it and kept working. Vulcarides has denied all these allegations. Couture says after three months, she had to leave what she called a toxic environment. She didn't go on social media with her allegations. She went to police. Two other waitresses quit and joined her. The case was heard last year. Vulcarides was originally charged with three counts of assault and three counts of sexual assault. But as part of a plea deal, the sexual assault charges were withdrawn. He admitted to flicking and touching, but said it was all non-sexual. Vulcarides received a conditional discharge, nine months probation, and had to pay a $300 fine. We reached out to him. Uh, no comment. Uh, you want to talk? You can talk to my lawyer. His lawyer also wouldn't comment. In their victim impact statement, one complainant said the harassment affected her education. I found myself becoming very depressed. I dreaded going to work in school. Another said she couldn't stay. I quit with no backup plan. I lost my house. I ended up moving up north to live with my mom and dad. I don't think it's fair at all. Couture and her colleagues are now going to the Human Rights Tribunal for lost wages and therapy costs. The women are looking for justice, not only in a criminal context, but they, they themselves want to sort of be made whole again. Vulcarides responded to the Human Rights Tribunal complaint, denying he touched an employee's breasts or buttocks. He is requesting that the complaint be dismissed because it was dealt with in the court and cites that the court determined his conduct was not the result of discrimination, rather it was the result of a lack of appreciation on the part of Mr. Vulcarides that his conduct was unwelcome. I think I'm slowly coming back to the way I used to be. I have a hard time trusting male employees. It's a lot different now. Farah Nasser, Global News.